Hi everybody. In this video, we are going to discuss solution for another interesting problem titled as smallest divisible number. Let us read the problem and understand it. Given an integer n where n is greater than or equal to 1, write a C code. Here it is mentioned as C, but you can write any code since it is pay body. You have flexibility. Now we are going to write Python code to check whether there exists a smallest number s where s is less than 10 power 7 and f is s is divisible by all even numbers m ok. So, all the even numbers less than n should divide that particular number s. So, for example, if n is equal to 10 the smallest number divisible by all even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 is 120. If no such element exists then you should print no such number and range. This is the problem and the input format is you are going to be given a number and the output is you should print either the number that is divisible by all even numbers or you should print no such number and range. This is the problem right. So, uh, how we can approach this problem is one another idea or one another view for this problem is you have to find LCM of all these numbers together right. If you find LCM of all these even numbers you will get a number is not it that number if it is less than 10 power 7 then you can print it otherwise you can tell that no such number range. Basically we want to find LCM of all even numbers less than n that is the core idea of this particular problem right. So, uh, you can also do brute force approach uh, I thought this approach uh, will be good right. Uh, there are many other approaches to solve this problem but I thought this will be a good idea finding out LCM of all the given numbers. So, when you want to find LCM of all the given numbers uh, directly finding LCM uh, would not be good right. We have a formula like uh, when you want to find LCM between two numbers for example, if you want to find between 2 and 4 then what you can do is you can multiply 2 and 4 right and divide it by their GCD. So, what is their GCD is 2 right. So, the LCM will be 4 this is the idea that we are going to follow and how we are going to find uh, LCM of all the elements together is we will first of all find LCM of first two even numbers and then let me call that as L then you will find LCM of L and 6 and then L and 8 uh, the LCM of LCM will be keeping on changing right. We can call that as current LCM right you will be finding first of all current LCM between the first two even numbers 2 and 4 and then current LCM and 6 you will take these two numbers and you will find LCM right your current LCM will change and then current LCM and 8 like that you will be finding till the largest even number is reached. This idea we shall use it and for finding out the LCM a uh, brute force approach will be to try one by one rather than that uh, we can use this idea because for GCD we have got a method called as Euclidean method right. So that um, in the Euclidean method you can uh, reduce faster. The basic idea is for example, if I am finding a GCD between 15 and 3, what I will do is always I can make the first number to be the smaller number. I am having two numbers in my hand 15 and 3, 15 is my first number now, 3 is my second number. What I will do is I will make the first number to be the smaller one. So, I will have it as 3 and 15 right and the idea is to subtract the smaller number from the larger one and keep the smaller one as such. So, you will have 3 and 12 and then 3 and 9 and then 3 and 6 then I will have 3 and 3. When I have both to be same I will stop the process and I will say this is the GCD 3 is the GCD of 15 and 3. Similarly, you can uh, do for many things for example, if I am going to do for 24 and 7 ok. So, what is the first step make the smallest one to be the first number so 7 and 24 subtract the smaller number from the larger one. So, you will get again 7 and uh, here will be 17, 7 and 10, then 7 and 3. Now, the point is always the first number should be the smallest number. So, again you will make 3 and 7, you will swap 3 and 7. I want the first number in my hand to be the smallest one. So, 3, 3 and 7, again subtract from the larger number. So, it will become 3 and 4 and then 3 and 1 right. 
swap because you want the smallest one to be the first number subtract it and again subtract it 1 1 so gcd of 24 and 7 will be 1 so this is called as euclidean method and we can follow this euclidean method to find gcd which will converge faster after finding the gcd what we can do is we can multiply those two numbers and divide by the gcd to get the lcm fine um, and then as i told you we are going to find lcm of first two numbers and then that lcm and the third number like that we are going to repeat this is the basic idea that i am going to use to solve the problem and that i have written the algorithm let us uh, implement it first algorithm is to find or write the function to find gcd of two numbers since it's a function let me write it as def gcd of m and n okay what's the first thing make sure that your m is the smallest thing right so you have to make m to be the smallest thing so let me tell m comma n equal to m comma n if m is less than n else n comma m right so you are going to swap if n is larger right m it will be m comma n itself if m is less than n so you are making the smaller number to be m while m and n are not equal so you can write while m not equal to n right you are going to do what you are going to uh, subtract m from n because n is the larger number and after subtraction you have to check whether m has become smaller right so you are once again checking if m is greater than n it may happen this may happen you can see here here it happens isn't it actually in this point when we subtract now m becomes larger than n in that case you have to swap it right so if m is greater than n then you have to swap it swapping is very simple in python m comma n equal to n comma m done and after the while loop entire while loop is over we are going to return m right this is the code for finding gcd let us check whether this code is correct uh, what we can do is we can just call this print gcd of uh, 3 comma 15 let me run it yes it's printing 3 and then i will also give it in the reverse order like 15 comma 3 also i can try gcd of 15 comma 3 that one you can try and you can run it okay one minute let me check whether i missed some braces yeah braces are missed okay let us run again now also we are getting three it's fine and we can check for 15 and 7 also this is also one should be fine right so your, your gcd is fine whenever we are working on problems where we write functions it is better to make sure that the function is fine it's working fine and then we can proceed that will give us a complete modularity and a clarity in solving the problem next uh, we are going to find lcm uh, so this function let me call it as lcm and it is going to take two numbers let me call them as n1 and n2 how will you find lcm you are going to multiply those two numbers and divide by the gcd I am going to directly tell return of uh, return of I am going to tell n1 into n2 divided by right I have to tell divided by gcd of n1 comma n2 right so we can try out this right lcm of lcm of 2 comma 4 we can try right lcm of 2 comma 4 is 4 yeah but you see that 4.0 comes why because we have done true division one thing is you can do integer division or you can convert the result also to an integer now i am doing just integer division yeah now it's 4 and also you can try the other things like 2 comma 8 what is the 
least common multiple as 8 right uh, we can also try between 12 and 15 okay so 12 and 15 should be 60 I think yeah we are getting 60 okay so your LCM function is also fine now let us write the major part of the code so the algorithm says first of all you have to read the value of n from the user so let us tell int of input and then as we were discussing your current LCM is going to be 2 right your current LCM is going to be 2 and for even numbers from 4 to n right so let us tell for i in range 4 comma you have to go up to n so in range you have to give n plus 1 and also you give the step value as 2 this will automatically generate the even numbers from 4 ok and you are going to find out what is the current LCM right so let me call it as current LCM equal to LCM of current LCM comma i right so we can do this and after you find the current LCM if the current LCM exceeds 10 power 7 right then you can immediately terminate no need to proceed further if you find at a point that your current LCM exceeds 10 power 7 you can immediately tell no such number in range and you can break the loop right so let us check if current LCM is greater than 10 power 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right in that case you can print no such number in range you can turn like that and you can break the loop right and if there is a number which is existing how you will identify that you will know that a number exists if the loop did not break so you write a else for the for and you can write print current LCM this is the idea right so let us run the code and check yeah you can see that when I give 10 you get 120 let me give 20 okay I think 10 was typed inside okay now run again and you give 20 it is giving 5040 right. So let us uh, try running the code in vpropel. So the code is pasted uh, let us try running it yes all the test cases are passed this is one of the way to solve the problem you can also try brute force method like one by one you can check and so on thank you